foodies welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to today's episode today i'm going to show you a simple two-day recipe for breakfast uh, using very basic ingredients before we start i'm going to show you how i prepare my tea leaves so i use two brands of, um, of tea leaves that's masala chai and tangawizi chai i blend them together then i use them they give you a very nice aromatic flavor at the end of this so first we're going to put our milk into our sphuria. I already boiled our milk. I buy ATM milk, boil it and keep it in the fridge. So I'm just going to add our milk to the sphuria. Then add water. I use uh, I add water in milk at, in a ratio of 1 to 1. So if it's 1 liter of milk, I use 1 liter of water. So you can uh, add your water how you like your milk, if you, how you like your tea. If you like your tea with too much milk, you can uh, reduce the amount of water that you're going to add. Um, I am also using rosemary, dried rosemary leaves. They also give your tea a very nice aroma. So our tea will uh, finally have a combination of ginger, that's tangawizi, masala, uh, tea masala, and um, rosemary, which is a very nice combination. You should try it. So I'm going to add uh, a teaspoonful of tea leaves to my to our water and milk mixture then add um one one branch of rosemary and then allow our tea to boil now we will start preparing our arrowroot to go with the tea so first I'm going to peel the arrowroots and wash them. tea is ready now it's boiling so let's finish with our arrowroots Thoroughly wash your arrowroots and rinse them clean. Put them in your sphuria, then add salt, fill your sphuria with water up to the level, the arrowroot level, and uh, seal your sphuria and allow them to boil. Arrowroot is a perfect option for breakfast, especially for people who are hoping to lose or manage their weight. Uh, they are rich in uh, high in fiber and have starch that is resistant to digestion so it will slow your rate of digestion giving you a prolonged feeling of fullness which will in turn regulate your appetite and lead to weight loss so you should consider adding this to your breakfast menu guys it's very healthy and also unashiba you you're so full uh, it serves the purpose and it's very healthy and it's easy to prepare. More reason why you should include it in your breakfast. Allow your tea to boil properly so that the spices that we have used 
can marry and give you a nice aroma and taste at the end of it our tea is now ready my kitchen is bursting with aroma it's so flavorful guys you should try this combination i love the ginger and tea masala and rosemary combination for my tea it's awesome once the arrowroot water has completely gone down check if your arrowroots are ready and serve you will know if they're ready by uh, pushing your fork or knife through the arrowroots and if it goes through easily and they're soft uh, nicely they are ready now you can serve and enjoy with your tea Another perfect breakfast option is tea with sweet potatoes. So you peel your potatoes. Then you properly wash your potatoes as well. Um, once you're done, you put them in your spurria, sprinkle some salt to taste and boil. You're going to follow the same procedure as you boiled the arrowroots. Um, add your salt, water to cover the sweet potatoes, then boil them and allow the water to go down. And check if they're ready, then you serve with your tea. That's basically it and a very simple and healthy way of having breakfast. So you can um, include it in your breakfast um, meal plan so that you can have arrowroots and sweet potatoes as well instead of having your daily bread. Just like arrowroots, sweet potatoes can also help you to manage your weight uh, because they also give you a feeling of fullness. Also, sweet potatoes can help manage diabetes in that they release sugar in the bloodstream slowly, unlike other starchy food. Uh, this steady release of sugar, it aids in controlling the blood le sugar levels so that they do not go low or high. Once the water level goes down in your sweet potatoes and you check that they are ready, you can serve and enjoy with your chai. You have a very good reason why you should indulge in sweet potatoes and um, arrowroots for your breakfast. They are, are a very good and healthy option. I hope you try this guys. Thank you for watching and thank you for the love.